High-ranking public officials could face the full brunt of the law if their assets aren't disclosed in a matter of days. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, The National Report. A few weeks ago, the Prime Minister warned those not complying with the Public Disclosure Act to get things in order or face the penalty. This comes as a number of public officials haven't met the March deadline and were given a grace period which ends in a few days. In this two-part series, our Clint Watson talks with the Chairman of the Public Disclosure Commission to get an update on who has taken some action. Based on the timeline, parliamentarians in the previous session and senior civil servants have until next week to declare their assets and liabilities to the Public Disclosure Commission. This is separate than what candidates declared to the parliamentary commissioner ahead of the 2017 general elections. Commission Chairman Miles LaRota says they've experienced a spike in inquiries. My phone is blowing up now with calls from individuals who I haven't heard from in a while. So we are seeing, um, we've seen that bear fruit uh, as we speak. The declaration should cover the 2016 year and applies to those who serve up to until March this year. LaRoya also confirmed that it's not parliamentarians alone. All members of parliament, all um, senators, and also senior civil servants and um, department managers and deputies. Now that's where the vagueness comes in because you would have a situation where you have a permanent secretary and a deputy permanent secretary, but now you have the undersecretary. And so there are, there are some ambiguities and some things that need to be cleared up with regards to having an official list. But what's not vague is a penalty for those who do not comply. They could be fined up to $10,000 and even prison term if they were to breach the act with providing things like, you know, false um, declare false information. We have basically been relegated to merely writing to the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition and furnishing them with, with um, information with regards to those individuals who have not disclosed. Um, it's then up to the Prime Minister, the Attorney General would be the person who would commence these um, uh, penalties per se. As bad as some politicians have been delinquent in, in disclosing. You have some senior civil servants who are even worse. And as a matter of fact, we have had situations where individuals have actually called the commission and have been very rude to the staff who are just doing their jobs. And although the reality is persons may try to hide assets, Lerota says by and large, persons must also submit supporting documents in their declarations. They must furnish to the commission their bank statement with regards to that particular date. If they're saying that they have an insurance policy, they're going to be required to present that. If they're um, presenting a uh, um, certificate of deposit, with certain amounts on it. Those are verified by the fact that they are required to submit the um, relevant statement signed by, on the bank's letterhead, signed off by an officer. While not disclosing who is outstanding, he did confirm that there were persons who have not yet disclosed. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.